Okay, so hi. Once again, it's time for bioenergetics, and today I'm very excited to introduce to you the arch and the bow position. It's the most fundamental, most basic position of, bio of bioenergetics, essentially from all the schools I've, I've heard of myself. And basically what's so great about it is that you can do it, uh, you don't need to make a lot of noise, and yet you get a huge cumulative release from your body the more that you do it. Essentially it works by opening up the whole backside of our body, from the ankles all the way up, calves, back of the thighs, bum, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, neck, it opens up this whole area. And then with the second part of it, the actual bow part, when you stretch backwards, you open up your chest, you open up the chest, and when the chest starts to open, then you can allow more feeling to be present in you without having to go into reactive behaviours or, or fight it off in some way. It's like a feeling can come, it can happen, and it can have its life and pass through, and you can stay present with it. So this is a wonderful exercise. The fundamental problem that we have as human beings is that we're very conditioned to try and become a certain type of person. And how we do this is by basically repressing all the gunge or into our back, essentially, energetically. That's right where it goes. We lose touch with our lower back. People either can't feel it or it's all tense and rigid. And it's all the emotions that we've held inside because we think if we show them, if we let them out, we won't be accepted, we won't get love. And so this exercise is just a wonderful, wonderful exercise, and I'm very happy to share it with you. How it goes is you stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, and the outsides of your feet roughly parallel, not too much kind of penguin-like anyway, whatever you can do. And then you allow yourself just to breathe for a few moments. Breathing is a key part of this exercise, breathing out through the mouth in particular, and in through the mouth, and breathing into your belly, into down here, this part of your body. You can even make sound with it if you want. Helps you to kind of you can almost feel like a vibration here when you're breathing, really from your belly, you're contacting your belly. It's very, very healthy. I let my shoulders drop a little bit, and then I imagine that my head is becoming really, really heavy. Like it's just been transformed into a big lead weight. My chin comes to my chest, and then my body is pulled downwards. And uh, it's good to do it so that your hands are just off the floor if you're quite bendy. If you're not so bendy, and that just go as far as you can. If you're super bendy, you don't need to do it hanging or with your hands on the floor. You can do that as an experiment, but the basic position is with the hands like a few centimeters, a couple of inches off the floor. And then when I'm down here, there's a few things I can check. I can check that my jiggle my head to make sure my neck is loose. I'm not locking my neck up like this, which is common. My eyes should be open. And then I can check my leg position. My knees are pushing a little bit out. If I squeeze my knees in, I look like a victim, and I don't want to do that. So knees push a little bit out. I'm breathing through my belly. Uh, my knees are not, you notice my knees are not locked straight, and they're not super bent either. They're just off being locked straight. This is the best. I'm just hanging here and breathing out through my mouth. And also when I'm more experienced, I can put my weight a little bit towards the front of my feet, so that my heels can even come like a millimeter off the floor. So I'm just gonna breathe here for a little while. Ah, ah. As in most bioenergetic exercises, the key is to keep yourself on the edge of your comfort zone. Not too comfy, not jumping out of it all the time, but not torturing yourself. It doesn't also do anything. Ah, so I'm just going to breathe out through my mouth. And then at a certain point, I bring myself slowly back up. My head comes up last. And I go into the bow position, which is arms up. Fingers outstretched, and bring my hips forwards to stretch. There, so my hips are stretching forwards, my pelvis comes forwards, and my arms come back out behind my ears. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. And once again, I need to breathe because when tension comes, it's easy to lock up. So you can even talk to yourself or talk out loud if there's no one around, you know, because it stops you from locking up. It keeps you present. My gaze should be straight forwards. Ah. Oh. I can even jiggle my fingers a little bit. Maybe at some point I feel like a kind of cool energy coming up through my arms. That's my body relaxing, or rather my, my holding patterns in my back starting to release. Patterns where I shovel all this crap up, try to become a certain kind of person, try to appear a certain way on the outside, and didn't behave authentically with all the other stuff. I kind of shoveled it away and hoped it would not come back. Endless kind of hope of the mind. But somewhere we can just create this perfect persona like on TV, 
and everyone will love us and all our needs will get met. But to do that, we have to shovel so much crap in and then we start smoking and drinking and God knows what private behaviours just to kind of uh, deal with all this crud that's hidden there. Uh, but like this, where I can open it up and start to let it out and allow it to be integrated. I can feel this cool energy coming up my arms. When you start this exercise, it's great to do it to a piece of music. You put it on repeat and start with a piece of music that's like two or three minutes long. Go round about up and down about three times. So it lasts maybe 20 minutes. And if you want, if that starts to get really comfy, you can build it up to five minutes or more, whatever you like. <sighs> but the key is to breathe. The key is to just keep on breathing. I need to keep remembering to breathe out through the mouth. This is so important. Ah, and then at a certain point, ah, it's time to let it go. If I was doing the exercise properly, I'd go around again. Go around again a couple more times. And at the end, just because this is a relatively short video, not 20 minutes long, I'm just going to shake my body out a little bit. Letting my energy just kind of do its thing. Having a little shake, I can feel my neck kicking a bit more, my body relaxing, ah, letting go of control. Yeah, thank you very much. That is for Bow and the Arch, and uh, I hope you have fun doing it. Good luck.